Welcome to the International Convention here in Baltimore. Our theme is Take Courage. What a great theme for the times we are living in. It's uh, such a gift from God that all of us, pastors, missionaries, body members, moms, dads, teenagers, young people, would learn who Christ is and what it means to live in a world where, where we need courage. In the Bible, uh, David had the courage to face Goliath. Daniel had the courage to pray when it was uh, illegal. Even when the government said, you cannot pray to any God except to Nebuchadnezzar, the image. And, and Daniel is thinking in his heart, no, I am a Jew. I pray to God and only God. In a similar way, through our history, we have seen Dr. Stevens and other leaders make decisions that took courage. Where does the courage come from? The Holy Spirit, following Jesus. Following Jesus, not just in a time of crisis, but as a way of life, like our brothers and sisters in other parts of the world. Remember when Rahab had met the two spies and she had decided in her heart that this, this city, Jericho, was, was going to the Jews and the Jews were taking the land. And she said, I'm on your side, I believe you. It took courage. You know, the three Hebrew boys, when they were, we, they were challenged in Persia, and they had to make their decision, and they ended up in a, in a furnace of fire. They had to make a tough decision. And we also, uh, we've gone through um, the COVID time, we've gone through uh, our transition from Lenox, Massachusetts, moving to Baltimore. Uh, we some people have decided to get on planes and go to the mission field uh, many years and many people have made courageous decisions even raising a family it takes love it takes confrontation it takes uh, patience it takes mercy being in a church uh, living in faith Remember when Esther, when she was kind of put in a corner and had to make a decision, it was tough. Her life was on the line, but she had courage. In the history of the Bible Speaks, the history of Greater Grace World Outreach, we do, do not stop and look at ourselves, but instead we look at Christ and we follow him. And we find we have the courage for the hour we can make decisions. Today, in the boardrooms of major corporations in the West, there needs to be board members that make decisions and have courage. Uh, pastors need courage. Moms and dads need courage. The social issues of the day, the issue of abortion, and in a wicked, in an evil sense, full-term abortion, is, is a, just an amazing offense. It's murder. It should not happen. Transgenderism, hormone blocker, blockers, uh, surgeries for children is evil and wicked and wrong. We are the church and we say so. We have a message. We have courage. We're not necessarily strong. We are feeble folk. But we, we live in the rocks, it says in Proverbs chapter 30. We are in a hiding place. We're with God. When you're with God, you'll come out of that place with, with conviction and you'll be persuaded. In our churches, we need to persuade lovingly by the anointing of God and the word of God. We need to persuade people and lead them we must lead them. We are not being led by our culture. We are being led by God. And because of that, then, we have courage. 
We're excited about it. I think this week will be amazing. We will hear from pastors from Africa, Latin America, India, Asia, Europe, and here in the United States. We'll have a great week. Thank you for your love. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your faith. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for your work and your ministry. God bless you.